What's your name and your job in the OR? Oh, for goodness sake, Thumbs. Sorry, sir. I'm asking everyone the same questions. Oh, all right. <sighs> I'm Dr. Scalpel, and I'm an attending surgeon. Basically, I'm your boss. Yes, sir. Right, sir. How long have you worked in the OR? You're making me feel old, Thumbs. I suppose it's about 20 years since I graduated from Muppet Medical School. Sorry, sir. Can you tell us about your job as a member of the OR team? It's my job to lead the team in the OR. I'm the one who sees the patient before the OR and decides what operation we're doing. I book the surgery and let the team know what's going to happen. And then I show up and do the surgery. Plus, it's my job to train you to become a surgeon too. My work is never done, Thumbs. Yes, boss. So what is your typical day like? No more 6 a.m. rounds for me, Thumbs. I'm usually in the hospital around 7.30, when I go to the OR to see the first patient and get started for the day. I'll usually do three or four operations a day, and in between, I usually run out to see my patients on the wards, or go over to my office, or go down to medical records and do my charts. We're usually done in the OR by 3.30 or so. So then, I usually have more meetings or do paperwork until 6.30, and then I'm usually home by 7 to see Mrs. Scalpel. That sounds like a pretty busy day. Yep, but I love it. No two days are the same in this job, and every patient is different. Other days, I'm on call, so I operate all day and then I can be called back at night to see people who are really sick or have been in trauma. Some days I'm in endoscopy, scoping all day. Scope, scope, scope. Other days I'm in the clinic from 8 to 4, seeing patients who are pre-op or doing post-op follow-ups. And I also have some academic days too, where I go over to the university and do my teaching and administration, or see my grads. Wow, that really is a lot of stuff. I didn't know you did all that. Well, you only see me when I'm in the OR and on the wards. The Muppet Med School doesn't run itself, you know. Can you talk us through what you do during an operation? Well, you gotta have a plan. The whole team gets together with the patient and runs through the checklist. Then, the anesthesiologist puts the patient to sleep. We position the patient and get scrubbed while the nurses prep the area. Then, we drape the patient and make the operative field. And then the operation can begin. We make the incision so we can have a look at the part of the body we're after. We have a good look around, and then we do what we came to do. Usually we're taking something out or fixing something. Often, we have to reconstruct or join things up again. We stop any bleeding, and then we close up the incision and dress the wound. Then, we wake the patient up and send them off to recovery. What's it like to train someone to operate? Like you, Thumbs? Well, it's a little scary at first, because you're afraid the resident is going to do something crazy. But after a while, you realize most residents are pretty good, and they're kind of afraid too. You let them do a little bit, and then a little bit more, and gradually, the trust builds up. By the end of the program, they're usually doing most of the operating, and I'm just helping. That's where we'll be with you, Thumbs. Eventually. I hope so, sir. So, why did you choose to become a surgeon? Good question, Thumbs. I thought about other things, you know. I always wanted to go into family medicine. Really? I can't see you as a family doc. Yeah, I know. But then I did my surgery clerkship, and it really blew me away. I mean, we were actually saving lives in the OR. It was so cool. I decided surgery was for me, and I never looked back. What is the best thing about being a surgeon? Hmm, I could say it's the money. Or the cool nurses. Those things are great and all. But really, it's the patients. When they give me a big hug, that's golden. What do you think makes an effective OR team? It's like WWF. Know your role. When everyone knows what's happening next, and they know what they're supposed to do, it's just beautiful. I put my hand out, and the nurse has just the instrument I need next. That's magic. What's something about the OR most people don't know? I like the music in the OR. Sometimes we sing and dance a little in there during a case. Oh, and we high-five it sometimes. Do you have any tips for a medical student on their first day in the OR? Being new is always hard. The residents will tell you what to do. Try to watch how the team works and see how you can help. 
Maybe it's getting the bed in the room or helping transfer the patient. After a few days, you'll know your role. Oh, and try to scrub in as much as you can. You won't see much from the corner of the room. Is it true what they say about surgeons? Yes, it's all true. Every single thing. Wow. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Nope. I think our next patient is here. Let's operate.